السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Our lecture today about parasitic infections of the lung Objectives Identify the parasite that infect the lungs Scientific name and common name of the parasite geographical distribution and normal habitat describe the morphology and internal organelles of the parasite understand the mode of infection describe the life cycle define reservoir host define incubation period discuss pathogenesis and symptoms of the disease. Explain the methods of diagnosis and describe the treatment. Parasitic infections of the lung may occur worldwide among both immunocompetent and immunocompromised patients and may affect the respiratory system in a variety of ways. Pulmonary fluke includes Paragonimus westermani the common name of this parasite is Oriental lung fluke or Japanese lung fluke. Disease Paragonimiasis. It is the major species of lung fluke that infect humans, most common in Eastern Asia and South America. Adult fluke lives in fibrous capsule in the lung and other tissues of the body. Morphology This is the adult fluke of parasite Paragonimus westermani. It is a stout, mumtelia, reddish brown in the living state. Contain both male and female genital organs in the same fluke. The oral sucker and ventral sucker, which is called also acetabulum, with the same size. At the posterior portion of the body we can see two lobed testes adjacent from each other. There is one lobed ovary in the center of the fluke behind acetabulum and there is coiled uterus. We can see excretory bladder extend from the posterior portion of the body to pharynx. Eggs. They are yellow-brown, ovoid or elongated with a thick shell. The ova has two membranes and one end slightly flattened. In the anterior portion of the ova we can see operculum. The eggs at the time of oviposition are unembryonated.
when passed in sputum or stool. Life cycle. Infection occur when human ingest undercooked or raw meat of crustacea, crabs or crayfish containing metacercaria. Existation occur in the duodenum and metacercaria liberate and convert to adult fluke. In the lung, lay eggs, we can see eggs either in sputum or in the stool when sputum is swallowed. We say that eggs at the time of oviposition are unembryonated. Which means don't have embryos. These eggs need aquatic media and after a period of time, about 15 days, eggs will have embryos, which is called miracidia hatch from eggs and swim to find the first in the intermediate host, which is suitable snail. Miracidia penetrate snail and convert to the larval stages, sporocyst, first generation of radia, second generation of radia, then convert to the larval stage, cercaria. These circari leave the first intermediate host and swim to find the second suitable intermediate host, as we said, crustacea, such as crayfish or crabs, and repeated the life cycles. Transmission. Transmission occur through the consumption of raw or undercooked seafood. In Asia, an estimated about 80% of freshwater crabs carry this parasite, Paragonimus Westermani. Reservoir host, which is the host that may contain the infectious agent. This infectious agent could multiply and development or just multiplication occur or just development occur to this infectious agent in the reservoir host. This host essential for keeping parasite when active transmission is not occur. Animals such as pigs, dogs can also harbor this parasite. Incubation period, which is the period between exposure to an infection and the appearance of the first symptoms of disease. In our parasite, time from infection to oviposition takes about three months. Infections may persist for 20 years in a human. Pathogenesis and symptoms. Acute manifestations includes acute pulmonary infection characterized by low-grade fever Cough, night sweat, chest pain, and blood stained rusty brown sputum. Chronic manifestations includes lung abscess or pleural fusion, 
develops in individuals with chronic infections, fever, hemoptysis, lurid pain, dyspnea, and recurrent attacks of bacterial pneumonia are the common symptoms. This condition similar to pulmonary tuberculosis. Fever, headache, nausea, vomiting, and visual disturbances, also localized or generalized paralysis, are the main symptoms of cerebral paragonymiasis. Capsules in the heart can cause death. Diagnosis The eggs of this parasite are characteristic and may be seen under microscope in stool specimen, brown sputum, lung fluid, cerebrospinal fluid, but these are not present until two to three months after infection. Other type or other way of diagnosis is chest x-ray may show nodular cysts and pleural fusion. Blood test is also available to detect eosinophilia, which is often associated with parasitic infections. Lung biopsy can also be used to diagnose this parasite. Also, serological test, in particular, enzyme linked immunosorbent assay method, is useful diagnostic test. Treatment The drug of choice is praziquantel to treat disease paragonymiasis. The recommended dosage of 70 5 mg for each kilogram per day divided into three doses over three days. And the alternative drug is bithyonol. But the side effects include skin rash and urticaria. Epidemiology. The epidemiology of this disease depends on one of the followings. Existence of appropriate snail crabs and mammalian reservoir hosts in the area. Pollution of snail habitat with sputum and pieces of the human. Consumption of metacercari through eating of raw or undercooked crustacea or through contamination of the fingers and cooking utensils with metacircari while cleaning. Control Avoid eating fresh crustacea and proper waste disposal. The second parasite is pulmonary hydatid disease doses caused by parasite Echinococcus granulosis. Intermediate host human and definitive host canidae. Habitat of definitive host small intestine, while habitat of intermediate host all organs except hair and nails. Larval stage called hydatid cyst. Although most cysts form in the liver, about 20 to 30 percent form in the lung following the rupture of liver cyst. Pathogenesis and symptoms. Clinical pulmonary manifestations include cough, dyspnea, chest pain, and fever. Rupture of hydatid cyst into bronchus may result in hemoptysis, dyspnea, persistent pneumonia anaphylactic shock, sepsis, and asthma-like symptoms. Rupture of hydatid cyst into pleural space may result in a pleural fusion, empyema, and pneumothorax. The other parasite is Dirofilaria mitis, caused the disease pulmonary dirofilariasis. Intermediate host is mosquito 
while definitive host, Kennedy, and human. Habitat of definitive host, lung arteries as well as the heart. Infective stage to mosquito is microfilaria. Larva 1. In humans, worm fail to mature and swept away to peripheral pulmonary arteries. Pathogenesis and symptoms include chest pain, cough, hemoptysis, wheezing, fever, chills, and malaise. This is the image of adult female which is larger than male. And this is the image of microfilaria. Pulmonary amoebiasis. The causative agent of this disease is intermeba histolytica. Definitive host, human. Habitat of definitive host in the large intestine. Infective stage is the cyst stage. This is the trophozoid stage, consists from large nucleus with central karyosome. We can see clear toplasm and granular endoplasm contain vacuoles, food vacuoles. Inside these vacuoles, we can see RBCs. And also this stage has pseudopodia, which are extensions from ectoplasm. This is the cyst stage of this parasite. Spherical contain four nuclei and large chromatoid body has cigar shape. Pathogenesis and symptoms. Active trophozoids can be identified in stool or sputum or plural specimen. Physical examination reveals fever, chest pain, hepatomegaly, and cough are indicated neuropulmonary amoebiasis. Some patients may per present hemoptysis and dyspnea. The other disease in the lung is pulmonary ascariasis caused by the roundworm ascaris lambricoides. This, uh, this is uh, the female, larger than male, and this is the image of ovary. This parasite can produce two types of ovary, fertilized and unfertilized. The fertilized ovary can complete the life cycle. It is spherical and smaller than unfertilized ova, which can't complete the life cycle, and larger would avoid shape, larger than the fertilized one. This parasite present in the intestine, so we can see the ova and detect it in the stool. After shedding ova, need soil, convert to ova with larvae. Infection occur through eating vegetables contain over with larvae. 
and complete the life cycle. Pathogenesis and symptoms Symptomatic pulmonary involvement may range from mild cough to Loeffler syndrome, which is self-limiting lung inflammation and associated with the blood and pulmonary eosinophilia. Respiratory symptoms may include chest pain, hemoptysis, shortness of breath, and wheezing. Pulmonary encystomiasis may be caused by the hookworm encystoma duodenal or the hookworm nicator americanus. The lariform larvae enter, enter the human host via the oral route, also able to penetrate the skin of the human host and it can reach pulmonary circulation. The habitat of this parasite in the intestine of the host, which is a human host, we can detect the ova in the feces, ova in the environment after a period of time contain larvae rhabditiform larvae hatch from the ova and convert to the infective stage which is filariform larvae this filariform larvae can enter the body through the oral route or through penetration of the skin. This is the head of this parasite and stoma duodenal. And this is the uh, buccal capsule contained two pairs of teeth. Pathogenesis and symptoms. Bronchitis and bronchopneumonia can occur when the larvae penetrate pulmonary capillaries to enter the alveolar spaces. Cough, fever, wheezing, and pulmonary eosinophilia could occur. Nicator americanus also the same life cycle to Ancestoma duodenal, but there is a single uh, difference between uh, life cycle of Ancestoma and life cycle of Nicator americanus. Here in Nicator americanus, we can see the filariform larvae infect the human only through penetration the skin and not by the oral route. Pathogenesis and symptoms includes bronchitis and bronchopneumonia. This is a real image of this parasite Nicator americanus. This is the anterior, anterior portion. Uh, this is the mouth of this parasite contain cutting the plates cutting plates pulmonary larval migraines caused by toxocara canis and toxocara cati paratinac host is a human paratinac or transport host is a host that serve until the appropriate definitive host is reached. The parasite can't undergo to any other stage. The parasite can't undergo any development but remains alive and infective to the final host. 
يعني إذا المضيف كان يحتوي على الطفيلي في حالة الأدلت فيبقى هذا الطفيلي كما هو في حالة الأدلت ما ممكن أنه يتحول إلى شكل آخر إذا أخذ مثلا الطفيلي في حالة اللارفال ستيج كأن تكون لارفة تبقى هذه اللارفة على حالها ولا تتحول إلى شكل آخر This is the life cycle of the parasite Toxocara canis. Adult worm in the lumen of intestine. So detection of this parasite by seeing eggs in the stool. Eggs need time to become embryonated egg which means contain larva either enter the same definitive host which is the dog and complete the life cycle or these embryonated eggs infect mammalian include human hatch larva from this egg and remain larvae in tissues can't convert to other stage as we said in this parasite human is paratinic host for this parasite pathogenesis and symptoms includes pulmonary manifestations are found in about 80% and patients present with severe asthma and bronchitis. Toxocara cati male contains structure called cephalic alley in the anterior portion. Eggs are pitted because the layers of proteins around the oven. Pulmonary leishmaniasis. Pulmonary or visceral leishmaniasis, also called calaza, is caused by leishmania de novani, is transmitted by various species of phlebotomus, which is a type of sandfly. Pathogenesis and symptoms include pleural fusion and pneumonitis have been reported in HIV infected patients with visceral leishmaniasis and lung transplant patients. This is the life cycle of leishmania. The infective stage is promasticot found in sandfly phlebotomus. When this sandfly takes blood meal, it will give this infective stage promasticot. This promasticot. taken by macrophage for phagocytosis and convert to the larval stage amastigots. Amastigots multiply in the cells of various tissues and infect other cells. When sandfly takes a blood meal, it will take this larval stage, a masticot. And then ingestion occur to this larval stage, convert two bromastigots in the gut. The 
divide in the gut and migrate to proboscis and life cycle repeat. In this image, we can see a mastigot stage in the macrophage. While promastigot or Fleshmania genovani, we can see it in the culture and in the insect itself. Pulmonary trypanosomiasis caused by trypanosoma gambians, trypanosoma rhodesians, and trypanosoma cruzi. Pathogenesis and symptoms. In mice model, hypercellularity and edema of alveolar walls approximately 10 times thicker than normal alveolar wall. These pathogenesis can contribute to pulmonary alveolar hemorrhage, bronchiolitis, and pneumonitis. Pulmonary emphysema was also observed in the lungs of infected rats. This is the life cycle of a trypanosoma species. Infection occurred to human through the bite of the insect Cici fly. This insect infected with the infective stage of this parasite, which is the metacyclic trypomastigot. This stage transform into bloodstream to trypomastigot carried to other sites multiplication by binary fission occur in various body fluids and we can see this stage in blood Infection occur to the tissue fly after taking a blood meal containing the infective stage, trypomastigot. Go to mid gut of the tissue fly. Multiplication occurred by binary fission. Leave the mid gut and transform into epimastigot. Tripomastigot has large flagellum. Nucleus in the center of the cell. Canutoblast locate far distance from nucleus, while epimastigot has short flagellum nucleus in the posterior portion of the cell, and canutoblast very close to nucleus rather than trypomastigot. This 
happy must you got? Multiply and salivary gland. Then trans to the infective stage, which is metacyclic tripomastigot. And life cycle repeated. Pulmonary babesiosis. This disease is caused by parasite babesia. A human is infected by the bite of infected tick. Genus Exodus. طبعا التك هو نوع من ال الحشرات العائدة إلى علم الحشرات الانتمولوجي or by contaminated blood transfusion فإذا هذا الديزيز البابيزيا ممكن حدوثه بطريقين الطريق الأول عن طريق bite of infected tick infected tick بمعنى الحاوي على طفيل البابزية الطريق الثاني يكون عن طريق contaminated blood transfusion يعني شخص مصاب بالبابزية ويعطي الدم لشخص آخر فرح يحدث انتقال الطفيلي بهذه الطريقة This parasite can attack the RBCs and lead to misdiagnosis of plasmodium parasite. يعطي أعراض شبيهة بأعراض الإصابة بالملاريا المسبب له طفيل البلازموديوم. Pathogenesis and symptoms: pulmonary edema and respiratory distress syndrome. Sporozoid, transtrophozoid, then merozoid, and RBCs of a human. Filarial parasites associated with the tropical pulmonary eosinophilia. This syndrome results from immunological hyper-responsiveness to human filarial parasites. Washeria bancrofti and Brugia malai. Intermediate host for this parasite is mosquito. Culex, Anopheles, and Aedes. While definitive host is a human. Habitat of definitive host in the lymphatic system. Infective stage, larva. Diagnostic stage, microfilaria and peripheral blood. Pathogenesis and symptoms. Clinical findings are cough, fever, and chest pain. This is the image of microfilaria of Washeria bancrofti. We can see this microfilaria covered with sheath. This is the anterior portion of microfilaria. We can see coarse nuclei along the body and this is the tail of microfilaria pulmonary citrongeloidiasis caused by parasite citrongeloids stercoralis this parasite has the ability to produce free living generations in addition to parasitic generations. Filariform larvae can directly penetrate the skin. 
these filariformlarvae pierce the pulmonary capillaries, enter the alveoli, migrate to the bronchi, trachea, larynx, and the proglottis, then swallowed back into the intestine. Definitive host is a human. Habitat of definitive host in the intestine. Infective stage is filariform larvae. Convert from the malt of rabditiform larvae, which is the diagnostic stage in human. In these two images, we can see filariform larvae and rabditiform larvae. Filariform larvae, which is larvae 3, slender and elongated, has delicate capillary esophagus and blunt tail. We can see the blunt tail, the pointer, and the tail that is on the film. Rabditiform larvae, we can see it in the stool shorter than filariform larvae and has bulb esophagus and pointed tail. Pathogenesis and symptoms includes bronchopneumonia and alveolar hemorrhage can occur. Most patients with hyperinfection present with cough, fever, and shortness of breath. In this muhaaratna, ittabi'a ila respiratory module, will eliminate parasitic infections of the lung. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.